it's Alana and welcome back to my channel for another video. Now today we are off doing something very exciting once again because I seem to do something very exciting every time I do one of these. We are heading back to Bolsworth and we are doing another content creating day. It is going to be so much fun. There are some amazing people there. I've got a two hour drive ahead of me on about three hours sleep. So it is going to be such a good day. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. So the first order of business once we were at Bolseth was this amazing breakfast. They had a platter of bacon sandwiches out and ready for us and we were in this incredibly beautiful room before we had a look out and headed down to the arenas for our first photo shoot of the day. I was literally so excited. The scenery is just incredible here. Right guys, so we're about to start the first shoe of the day. We're just inside this little area, just outside the castle arena, where we're gonna be replicating the VIP area and getting some cool shots with all the fashionistas. It is gonna be so much fun. Right guys, so I'm here down at the castle <laughs> arena. We're about to set up a fake photo shoot, like we're in the <laughs> VIP section. So I'm here with Sophie, Chloe, Bronte, and Aud. How excited are we girls? Very, Very excited. excited. Bring on the bubbles. Oh, Bring exactly. on the bubbles. We all we love, love the shampoos, don't we? <laughs> we do. <laughs> we absolutely love it. Right then, so we best get cracking. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Then after a morning of doing lots of photo shoots, it was time to steal the photographers for our own purposes. So Sophie went first, getting some gorgeous pictures on the gate, and then I elected to simply lean on it because I'm not that good at climbing. Then we decided to try and get a walking shot, and let me tell you, we were so bad at timing this, you can see the confusion. But we absolutely nailed it in the end. Slay. Right guys, so we've just bit <laughs> <laughs> So what happens when you take your friends to find you like, right guys <laughs> Right guys, um so we've just finished shooting some of the fake VIP section stuff. That was so funny. They gave us a few too many bubbles, I think. Um it was such a good time though. I loved uh, fake laughing. It's so hard to try and laugh when you were laughing previously, but then they tell you to laugh. Um so we've kind of been left in up to our own devices. So that's um, <laughs> Sophie and Ords up there just doing a few clips for their TikToks and Instagrams and all that. We've been left to our own devices in the school to just kind of shoot some stuff. So I'm sure you'll be seeing some TikToks from me today. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to bring out next for us. So I'm here with two top fashionistas, Ords and Sophie. Um, you've both got these beautiful, and me too, it's <laughs> brown hats. What, Ords, why don't we start with you? How have you created your outfit today to look as amazing? Uh, so I created it around the weather mm -hmm. and also around the colours. So I love bright colours and I love in particular the latest cinnamon and uh, Fairfax Sunset Orange. Mm -hmm. So I started thinking what could go with it that will keep me warm throughout the day. Yeah. So I decided to go for a Holland Cooper trench and the matching straight trousers. Beautiful. And I did a little bit of a pop of, uh, you know, tan as well. And that fit. So it's a nice in between season, you know, it's not yeah, dark for yeah. winter, it's bright and I like the contrast. And you look so amazing and you're nice and warm as well. Yes, <laughs> yes. exactly. Which we need on a day like today. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then Sophie, you look so lovely. Oh, thank you. Why don't you tell me how you've created your outfit as well? Yeah, of course. So I started with the more kind of traditional country clothing, tweed suit. For me, you can't go wrong with this. It's a staple item in my wardrobe that you know can last you for years and years. It's versatile. But there's lots of opportunity to kind of dress it up, dress it down and change it from show to show. So today, exactly as you say, Alana, I've tried to give it a little bit more of a spring summer touch of colour, a bit of a pop, just like Ords was saying with the orange, I've gone for pink instead. So I've added a pink shirt underneath, 
complemented it with the Fairfax and Faber plum range. And of course, attention to the detail, guys. Oh, and then yes. like pink tassel, why Loving not it. mix and match a little bit of contrast and finishing it, of course, of course off with a lovely, lovely pink Higgs and Brown hat. And it goes to show just how much a fabulous hat can complete the outfit. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much. That's absolutely great. And how are we going to get cracking? I think you two are going to get changed now, aren't we? We are. Another outfit yes. too. Off we go. I'll be looking exactly <laughs> the same, so I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> what on earth are those two lads doing? Ash Howells and Josh Hill spotted failing. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> to get along in the lake at Balsa. Moving swiftly on, let's keep going. Right, so we've just headed upstairs. Some of the girls are all getting changed into their new outfits. I am unprepared, so I haven't brought another outfit. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be interesting. Look at the view behind me from this room. Girls, isn't this room absolutely amazing? Insane. Insane. Absolutely amazing. It's so I'm cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I'll join in on that so <laughs> So next thing on the agenda was a little bit of a makeup touch up before we headed down to my favourite time of day, lunch time. It was literally such a gorgeous spread. And then me and Ords headed over to Edgemere as they brought in some amazing stuff that they would be taking to the show in June. And we picked out loads of gorgeous outfits for people to wear. Hi, so I'm Audrey Bro, and I'm here to shop to see if I were to compete in Bolsworth International. What would I buy? What would I wear? I would buy from the Edgemere stand here at Bolton International this June. So the next thing that we had to shoot was sort of a getting ready for ladies day shoot. All the girls had so much fun with this, getting changed, doing clothes, dancing about. It was honestly so much fun. Right guys, so everyone's just warming up for the ride and drive now. And I have been told that I will be driving. <laughs> so who wants to see me crash the Lexus? Crash the Lexus. It's an automatic, never driven an automatic before. It's literally the most expensive car I will have ever driven. Or the only other car that I've driven for my, except for my own for literally years. So it's gonna get very interesting. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here with TikTok sensa sensations, Ash House and Josh Hill. I don't know yeah. if we are anymore. We're a bit irrelevant now. Yeah, he's, stopped taking his, he's stopped taking his clothes off and I've stopped wearing wigs. So, oh, <laughs> downhill. Right downhill from here. <laughs> yeah. well, right, so you guys have been here all morning. What have you been up to? Um, so we've been trying our utmost best to get kicked out of Bowsworth. Um, we, we've tried to damage the ground, uh, injure each other. Um, and somehow we've still not managed to successfully complete that. But they're going to put this in a, a very expensive Lexus. So what I'm going to try and do is back end it out, <laughs> flip it, and hopefully ruin the car. Uh, give everyone great entertainment and uh, see how, how we go on from there, really. Well, I don't know whether to be scared or immensely excited. You should or be scared. What is going you to should happen? be scared. Yeah, terrified. <laughs> terrified. Very terrified. Right then, and will we also be seeing Half Step here at Bolsworth in June? Yeah, we're here for all five days. So yeah, come. Say come again just. with more enthusiasm. Go on. Let's try, let's try again. <laughs> Say again. We'll be here for all five days. Yes, yeah, uh, we're we'll... here for all five days. We'll be here. And Got a live talk arena. that we're doing as well. Yeah, live talk. Oh, that'll yeah. be good. Yeah. yeah, talking all things about half step and half step. Social media. Um, men, men's mental health in the industry, um, yeah. inclusivity for uh, the boys, and making sure there's some representation there. So, yeah, that's yeah. what we'll be doing a little bit of that as well. If you don't kill yourself first. Yeah, I'll try okay, my best. Okay, right then. Try my best on the Lexus. <laughs> Right, so it could get very interesting because I'm doing that as well and I haven't driven any other car except for my own since I passed my test. Uh, how, when did you pass your test? Um, three years ago. Okay, that's okay. I was <laughs> gonna say. You've never driven by yourself? I've driven by myself. <laughs> what have you been? I don't drive. <laughs> I yeah. came here on a bike. <laughs> right, well, thank you both so, so much. I, I don't think I've quite laughed so much. I thank you us. <laughs> um, and I wait to see what chaos is going to ensue. <laughs> So the aim of the game was to go around this course going in between the cones without knocking any of the tennis balls off. On the surface of it, it looks easy, but once you're in that car, let me tell you right now, it is harder than you think. So here Dan is just taking it nice and steady, going around the course, taking it real easy and just making sure we can all see exactly what we need to be doing when we are driving this very expensive car. <laughs> So 
So in the ride and drive, you are paired up with a rider on a horse and they've got to do a show jumping round as fast as possible. And then the minute they're over the last jump, you need to floor it round the driving course. And as you can see, the riders did not come to play. They were going all out and blasting it round here. Break that boy! So I've just done the ride and drive. Success guys, I didn't actually crash, which is always a bonus. And apparently everyone was really surprised when I managed to go fast at the end. They were like, oh. But no, it was so much fun. I kinda wanna go again because I feel like I can go faster. But we're gonna have a presentation now to see the top four drivers. Fingers crossed, I've managed to make it in there. <laughs> right then, so we just had the presentation and I did come joint last. <laughs> But I was there to just provide the visual appeal, clearly. Um, but no, it was so much fun and everyone went so fast. It was great. <laughs> I kind of want to do it again. <laughs> then we were treated by Dan to an awesome motocross demonstration. He is literally a legend on that bike. I was so impressed. And they had to get some amazing footage of him going over the balls of the jump. Right, everyone, so I've captured Dan, who you've just helped me go through the ride and drive. I tried, yeah, yeah, I mean, you smashed it, to be fair. I didn't really have to give you too much direction, so fair play. I didn't even place, though. Did you not? No. Did you not? No. I'm, I'm sure, well, maybe it was due to your partner hitting a few, you know. Yeah, we'll blame it all on Nina. Exactly, because I, I was sure <laughs> I was convinced that you were going to win. So. Oh, thank you very <laughs> much. Worries. Right, so you've just given us a little demo on your um, motorbike there, going over the jump. That looks so impressive. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it's a very, very tame jump as to what we're going to have here when the uh, the event is live. So we're going to bring in a full freestyle setup. So just a very small taster today. Oh, amazing. Um, and I know you're organising all the motocross at Bowlsworth this year. Yep. What sort of thing are we going to be seeing? Well, we're going to bring in a pool of riders, some of the best in the country for sure. I think we've got Jamie Squibb on the bill. So he's like, I mean, he's world renowned, you know, real, mm -hmm. real good rider. So he's coming in, a few other riders um, to keep him on his toes, some of the young, younger riders. Um, yeah, and should should have a great show to be fair, you know, like a good, good level of effort. I cannot wait to see it. I know, yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to ride here? I know, so. it's so beautiful. It's stunning, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time Pleasure. and I look forward to the show in June. Lovely to meet you. Then out of everyone, I think the absolute best driver had to be when the cameraman went rogue, grabbed his mini and absolutely blasted it around the course. It was so funny and honestly, I think it might have beat the Lexus. <laughs> Ah, 
after all that excitement, it was time to head back to the castle for another bite to eat before I took some pictures around the estate. Honestly, it's such a gorgeous venue. I cannot wait for the actual show in June for when all the marquees and all the shopping villages out. It is gonna be so brill. Right guys, so I'm off to do a few couple shots for the dog agility and I have actually kidnapped a dog. Um, so this is Mel's dog, the Tommy Hilfiger lady. So um, hopefully he's okay with me just doing some agility with him. <laughs> So Dog Agility is one of the newer additions to Bolsworth International and it makes the show a lot more inclusive even to people outside of the equestrian industry and me and Arnie I think did an excellent job, he was such a good sport considering the fact that I wasn't very good at directing him. But after some bribery with some cucumber we were ready to try again and with much better results. Right everyone, so that is all from me today. That is the end of our Bowls of Content Creation Country Lifestyle Day. It has been so amazing from doing the motocross to the ride and drive to getting some photo shoots done. It has been so much fun. And I have to say it has made me so excited for the coming show in June. I know I'll be there, so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there too. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is being uploaded. I'll link my socials below. And until next time, guys, from me and this amazing venue, it is goodbye.